This is Things You Thought You Knew About About History. History. Who designed the first American flag? Betsy Ross? Yeah, Betsy Ross. You know the story. Miss Ross, we have come to you with a request. Yes, Mr. Washington. I'm honored that you and your committee came to me. We want you to make the first ever flag of the United States. Here is the design. Well, I'd love to. But is that a six-point star, sir? Uh, yes. May I make a suggestion? It should be a five-point star. They're in style and look better with the stripes. Should they be? Certainly. All right, then five-point star it is. We'll be back soon for the flag. That's a nice story, but there's no evidence at all that that's true. Then who was Betsy Ross, really? She was born Elizabeth Griscom in New Jersey in 1752 to a Quaker family. In 1773, she eloped with John Ross, an upholsterer she was working for in Philadelphia. She became a Protestant like he was and probably met many important members of the Continental Congress in their church. John Ross died in the Revolutionary War. Betsy Ross remarried two more times after that and had her own business. We do know that she sewed flags for the Continental Congress during the war, but she was most likely just one of the many people who did. So if she didn't sew the first flag, why is that the legend? Her grandson, William J. Canby, spoke to the Historical Society of Pennsylvania in 1870. He told them the story, claiming that Betsy Ross told to him when he was 11. Who really designed our American flag? We don't really know. Evidence points to Francis Hopkinson. Who's that? He was a patriot and a naval flag designer. He signed the Declaration of Independence and represented New Jersey in the Continental Congress for a little. He tried to bill Congress for creating the Great Seal and the flag in 1780. All he asked for was a flask of wine, but they never paid him. Did the first flag look like the ones we have today? How did it change over time? Our first ever flag had 13 red and white stripes for the 13 colonies, with the Union Jack, Britain's flag, in the corner. On June 14, 1777, Congress chose to have 13 red and white stripes and white stars on a blue background to represent a new constellation. Today, June 14th, is Flag Day. At first, these stars had no set arrangement. The most common way was to alternate rows of three stars and two. Rarely, they were laid out in a circle shape. When two more states joined the Union, two stars and two stripes were added. After that, they went back to 13 stripes to represent the original colonies, and they continued adding stars for new states. Created using Powtoon.